Today, we are going to go over how to go from no warm calls to warm calls. Let's just keep it simple using the relevant recruiter method. So I know a lot of you uh, that have been following me for a while, people ask exactly what it is that we do. And we're going to dive deep into the relevant recruiter method today. But before we get started on that, just give me a little like, give me a say hello. Let me know that I can, you guys can hear me. Um, and we'll get this thing diving in here. So with all of that being said, I'm pulling up this page here so I can answer any questions, interact with you guys. Um, for those of you that are turned in live right now, just curious, what is going on with your business? Are you facing challenges with getting new clients right now or getting new candidates? I know that it's a hot market um, and definitely more of a candidate driven market uh, in most industries, but just curious if you just drop in the comments, what's happening specifically with your business right now? Um, Thank you, Daniel. Hope you're doing well. Um, so yeah, just be curious as what you guys have going on, what you guys are seeing in terms of your market. Um, what we're going to talk about today, like I said, is the relevant recruiter method. The relevant recruiter method um, is something I'm really fired to share with you. It's something I created, you know, about three years ago. Uh, it's a proven automated lead generation system specifically for the staffing executive search firm um, recruiting industry. Okay, so we've helped hundreds of people implement this, what we're going to be talking about today is not theory. Um, this is very proven and it's something that can totally change your business. Um, thousands of people have downloaded my guide, the relevant recruiter guide, been through my rel other relevant recru recruiter trainings. Um, and the cool thing is we just continue to tweak it and test it and tweak it and test it and make it better and better. So really excited to share all of this with you guys today um, that are joining me live. So Drop in the comments right now, what is your most effective way right now to generate new clients? Um, what is your most effective way of, of you know, obtaining new leads of clients? Um, or if the main focus right now is on the candidate side, I would just be curious if you can drop in the comments, what is your most effective way um, to generate new clients? Um, one of the things that you know typically happens in this industry is it's pretty well known that the traditional method, the traditional way of doing business development just takes a ton of manual effort. And it's certainly not as effective as it used to be. Um, you know, the cold calling, um, you know, building relationships, obviously everybody wants to build relationships, but, you know, more of the networking approach um, continues to be less and less effective. And the harsh reality of it is, is your effort doesn't scale. Um, your effort is, is there's one of you, there's 24 hours in a day, you know, um, obviously for those of you that have a team, that's obviously your biggest step to scaling, but even your team's effort um, is tough to really scale. Okay. And so what we're going to be talking about today is really, you know, help you understand that there's a more efficient way to grow your recruiting business through online marketing and lead generation that allows you to attract your ideal clients um, and prospects to you on autopilot. So you can make more time really to focus on the things that are really gonna make the biggest impact, which is qualifying candidates, qualifying clients and, and making that ultimate match um, for people. You know, but the challenge really is, um, is ultimately you know, for a lot of people that you guys are recruiting or talent acquisition experts or, or executive search experts, you're not an expert in online marketing and lead generation, that's okay. Um, but that's usually the challenge is you can go around and there's trainings like this going on every single day. Um, there's YouTube, there's the information is not the challenge, right? But what we're going to talk about is, is a very proven process. But ultimately, you know, these things can be, you know, very time consuming and diff difficult to figure out on your own. Um, when you're looking at online marketing and, and recruiting in general, it's very tough to stand out and separate yourself from the next recruiting or executive search firm out there. Um, there's just a lot of them. It's almost like supermarkets. They're almost on every single corner, right? Um, there's, and, and that equals just a ton of noise in the marketplace. And the majority of training that is available, available is really just teaching a lot of the same tactics. Um, you know, you got a lot of the old school trainers out there um, that have been very effective and no knock, but they're just teaching kind of some of the old cold calling um, or, you know, some sort of cold calling with email outreach. Um, not saying that doesn't work, but it's the same. It puts you in the same bucket. Um, and again, we're talking about a lot of manual effort there. And when you start doing these things on your own, a lot of times what happens is you don't get it right along the way, you know, the first time. So it leads to frustration um, and, and leads to a lot of time wasted, money wasted, wasted overall. So 
you know, what we're going to talk about with the relevant recruiter method is really a proven and tested automated lead method. Um, and it's really a shortcut for you guys um, to go all around this. So, you know, it's really the best method we've discovered to establish a, a flow of high quality leads on autopilot. So one thing that this, the relevant recruiter method really is about is it's not about quantity. We're not looking for, you know, can we get 15 phone calls a day? Um, we're, we're really actually into protecting people's time um, and protecting their value. And so we're actually looking to attract high quality leads. And we do that through strategic messaging and things like that. Um, but it's really, you know, another, the best method to position yourself is, is the hiring decision maker um, in to position yourself to the hiring decision maker and candidates as, as being the expert in the space. Um, not just being another recruiter, like, but being the recruiter. Um, it, it's going to help you have a clear strategy to create content, but not content to, you know, get your dopamine going, um, but content that's actually going to get people to convert and, and end up in your inbox and ultimately be an inbound lead. Um, and ultimately, the, you know, the main goal is to reach the finish line here and create partnerships with clients that result in consistent placements um, with the most qualified candidates. And, and you can do all of this without spending, you know, a small, small, small fortune and a ton of time trying to figure this all out. So, you know, like I said, what we're going to talk about really ultimately is diving deep into the relevant recruiter method. And, you know, one of the key things that this allows us to do is so many out there um, are really have a one to one approach. Right. So everything is, you know, one phone call to one person, one email to one person. And in order for us to scale effectively, um, we want to be able to go to one to many, but we want to do one to many in a way that's personalized um, and ultimately take that one to many approach to where they're now coming to us rather than us always doing outbound. Now, it's my personal belief that in this industry, it requires both. It requires both an outbound effort and an inbound effort and, and finding a way to, to intertwine these efforts um, is really where the magic happens. Because if you're if you're relying on everything that being inbound, you're probably missing out on on opportunities, right? So we can't be quiet when we're out there trying to grow our business. We we've got to be pushing full throttle. So there's really four phases or four pillars to the to the relevant recruiter method: um, stand out, LinkedIn lead machine, content conversion system, and then multi-platform scaling. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into all of this right now. So the first thing, like I said, is stand out. And, you know, the first with the relevant recruiter method and the whole idea with standing out is, is focusing on kind of the basic fundamentals of marketing first. And a lot of people want to skip this step. A lot of people want to get into tactics. And it's funny, you know, being in these groups and seeing people online, everybody's always posting a tool, whether it's an email tool or a LinkedIn automation tool or a new content repurposing strategy and this, that, and the other. But the bottom line is if you don't know who your target market is, who your target customer is, and you don't know them inside and out, um, I can promise you that, yeah, you might be able to pick up wins, but it won't be near as effective. And you're going to waste a bunch of time. So the whole idea of standing out in the marketplace is, is being able to separate yourself from the competition in an authoritative way. And the way that we do that is through clearly knowing this is my ideal target customer, right? One of the biggest challenges that a lot of recruiters face is, um, is, is, a lot of times you can recruit or, or do searches and, and, and do these successfully, no matter what the industry is, no matter what the position is. Um, but when it comes to systematizing your business and building an automated lead generation system, you can't do that. Um, you can't do that being a generalist, right? So the, a lot of this has to do with more of a, of a marketing and, and, and sales type of approach and being able to do that at scale. We have to have a system in place and know exactly who we're trying to target. And that kind of goes on the next thing is that once you know who you're trying to target, then you can really position yourself powerfully to your ideal clients and candidates. Okay. And the positioning is essentially how your market, how you want your market to view you. And one of the things that a lot of recruiters are doing is they're still playing small, playing behind the scenes. Um, and again, there's a lot of different reasons for that. And it's not, you know, right or wrong, but a lot of that just has to do with the fear of putting themselves out there. Um, or thinking that they don't need to do this, but I'll leave you with this. You know, the, the, if you're not creating the narrative for your brand, um, either nobody is or somebody else is creating a narrative you probably don't want. So you really want to grab this by the horns um, and really start to focus on how you can stand out and, and really get clear on what are you actually offering to your, to your market? What is your messaging um, that separates you from the competition so you can cut through the noise? And when you do this right, when you find out how to stand out on the marketplace, you will be branded now 
as a more relevant authority in your marketplace and really become an obvious choice. Um, and this is really the foundation for being able to generate inbound leads. Like I said, if you skip this step, then you're just going to be creating messaging that hits home with nobody. You'll be creating a bunch of content that's not getting action. Um, and that's a great way to waste a bunch of time. Okay. So, you know, the biggest thing though, when you get this right is you're not going to be viewed as just another executive search firm. You're not going to be viewed as just another recruiter. You're not going to be a commodity anymore. You're going to be, you know, put yourself into a place of demand, which ultimately results in more exclusive or retained opportunities. And, you know, good marketing um, should really make the sales process a heck of a lot easier. Right. So when you, you know, ultimately, um, you know, I helped uh, some clients of mine, um, Jessica Shuttleworth, Katie, Katie Marriott last year. Um, and when they started working with me, they were kind of still generalists. They wanted to do small business in, um, you know, the Carolinas. And I kind of pushed and leaned and leaned and we, we got them to go to accounting and finance, specifically in the Carolinas. And their business absolutely exploded in the middle of the pandemic. Um, and a lot of that just came with them figuring out how to stand out to their certain marketplace. So it can certainly be powerful. Um, but once you know how to stand, stand out and you've really got your kind of foundations in place of, of who your market is and how you really want to position yourself in that market, now we need to make more people aware of you, okay? And this is where the LinkedIn lead machine um, comes into play. Now, one thing I want to drive home right away is LinkedIn lead machine is not about you playing a numbers game. It's not about you, you know, uh, spamming as many people as you possibly can. Um, LinkedIn lead machine is about building digital relationships at scale. So for those of you that are really into strategic partnerships and relationships, then the LinkedIn lead machine approach that we teach would really work well for your business. Okay. And this is how you're really able to understand how to grow your network um, of your ideal prospects again, in doing this at scale and doing this with minimum, you know, a minimal effort. It's knowing how to create and have multiple ways to start conversations and turn those conversations into calls. Um, and, and really, you know, being able to automate certain parts of this process so you can leverage your time and really go from that one-to-one -one approach to one-to-many approach um, is really where it's at. And if you have a team of recruiters or a team of executive search professionals, uh, this is something that your entire organization should be doing. Uh, you know, it's just more fishing poles in the water. There's way more leverage right in there. But, you know, this is not about connecting with somebody and pitching your services. You know, it's not about trying to go and get quick wins. The LinkedIn lead machine is really about finding ways to automate processes at scale so we can keep them personalized. Um, and also, you know, the other way we turn things into a machine is by routines, you know, doing some organic outreach approaches uh, systematically in, in doing it through routines that really are targeted um, to our ideal prospects. So again, that we can stand out. And the, the worst thing is, is taking the time to, to build some presence in your marketplace um, but be, becoming and being the best kept secret. So when you get the LinkedIn lead machine right, you start to save a ton of time on your initial prospecting efforts, right? Um, and you'll be able to grow your network, you know, literally by hundreds of, of people a month. Now, I know that there's a lot of stuff going on um, with LinkedIn and the invitation limits. Um, what we've got going on within our actual program, within the relevant recruiter and the LinkedIn lead machine, we have all the workarounds um, to, you know, that's really not a concern for those that are going through the program now with the workarounds that we've come up with um, to be able to continue to grow our network at scale, right? And ultimately, a lot of my clients, they're seeing, you know, uh, three, five, seven, 10 quality calls a month from this with their ideal prospects. And again, this isn't about, you know, um, this is about people getting on the call with you that want to be on the call with you, not about you banging down somebody's door. And I can tell you that that puts you in a whole different position of power. And ultimately what this allows you to do is it creates way more of a pipeline for you. So you all know that, you know, by doing years of outreach, uh, it doesn't really matter if you have the best marketing message in the world. It doesn't even matter if you get that person on the phone. It doesn't even matter if you get them to answer or respond to a LinkedIn message or email. If they don't have a need, whether they're a client or candidate, if they're not in the market, so to speak, right now, then we need to be able to follow up and nurture those, those prospects, right? And that's where the pipelining really comes into play. And what we're trying to do ultimately in a lot of these situations is get to some no's, find out who should be in our pipeline and who shouldn't. Um, because if you really want to build strategic relationships, then you, you ultimately want people that actually get the opportunity to be nurtured by you. Um, and that's really where, you know, the content conversion system comes into play. Okay. And the content conversion system is the, is the third step, um, or the third pillar of the relevant recruiter method. Okay. 
And really what this is about is this is, you know, creating content, but it's really built on the foundation of you being authentic and you consistently driving value to your marketplace. Okay. And, you know, one of the things that's very important to understand is there's a big difference between marketing and selling and especially on the internet. And a lot of folks, when they go into the content game, what they do is they try to start selling their business. They try to start selling why somebody should work with them or why they're this, that, or the other and better. But really good content is all about the prospect. It's about their pains. It's about their problems. It's about the opportunities that are out there for them. And when you understand that and you get that right and you do that authentically and you add value, that's really where people start to reach out and, and, you know, get you and start to reach out and give you like an inbound lead, so to speak. Right. Um, but <clears throat> You know, one of the things with content for those of you that may not have may or may not have created content and actually for those of you living live or watching with me live right now, if you can just drop in the comments below, you know, um, if you're creating content or not, if this is a part of your strategy, I'd just be curious how many of you are actually creating content right now um, for your recruiting business, because what I see is that most people actually have a lot to say, um, except for they don't value what they have to say um, and they're not really sure what to say. And so what that ends up, you know, turning out to be is that, well, <laughs> I'm not going to create anything. Um, I don't want to say something wrong. I don't want to. I don't want to have something that's not perfect. And 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 the story continues to go on, right? So I would just be curious how many of you guys right now actually have content to be a part of your strategy, um, because really creating content is not like a big revelation. But knowing how to create content that's going to convert, that's going to create somebody to reach out to you, is really the key. Um, because again, most people really drop the ball here. Their, their content is not focused on connection. It's all about them. And they're always asking. And, you know, one of the things that's really, really important with your content strategy is staying committed to it. Right. And this is critical. One piece of content doesn't get it done. You absolutely need consistency. Um, you need consistency. And when you think about the biggest brands in the world, right, you think about Coca-Cola, I don't care if you even drink Coke. I would almost guarantee everybody watching this has had a Coke at some point in their lifetime. I don't drink Coke. I know I've had Coke before. Um, and, you know, but the bottom line is they continue to run ads and put it in your face. Why? Because they continue to sell more Coke to those that, that do it. And it's the same thing with Apple. Why do people buy new Apple iPhones every single time the update's out when really there's not that much that's different, right? Because Apple's consistently in your face, you know, making sure that they're top of mind to you. And ultimately you want to be able to create a con have a content conversion system that really has you do that. And ultimately the last thing is having the confidence to put yourself out there. Right. And I know a lot of folks um, just speaking with a lot of folks in the marketplace, you know, there is that a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of fear, a little bit of imposter syndrome with putting themselves out there. So, you know, when you really get the content conversion system, right though, you will have clients and candidates chasing you um, rather than you have to always be doing the outreach. Right. Um, and you'll be able to generate more demand for your services allowing you to pick and choose your client, ideal clients, ultimately increasing your revenue. Okay. In the last two weeks, I've had about three of my clients reach out to me and tell me they've had to flat out stop all of their outreach because they're getting too much. They can't even service what they're bringing in. But more important is that allows them to say no to the things that aren't in their wheelhouse. That allows them to be in a position of power and only work on jobs that they can fill. Because when you think about it, a lot of folks stay busy in this industry, but they're, they're busy not making money because they're, you know, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with contingent search, but when you're doing contingent search and you're not valued, I mean, you guys can probably say it better than I, there's a lot of time that can be wasted out there. Right. And so we want to generate that demand so that we can really focus on building strategic partnerships with people um, and start pushing other clients away that really just don't serve us um, and aren't going to be able to generate revenue. And ultimately clients that we just have no chance of, of even selling the opportunity, right? Your content will further establish you as the an authority in the market, right? Your content will tell your brand story. Your content will help you stand out when you're doing that right. Okay. And the fourth pillar is multi-platform scaling, okay? Multi-platform scaling is really about building brand awareness across multiple platforms. So we just talked a lot about LinkedIn Lead Machine. When we first, when we roll out the content conversion system, the first place we're gonna display that content is through LinkedIn. But then we need to start link, looking at, well, how can we really share our content through uh, email? How can we share our content and have a presence on Facebook? How can we do this on YouTube and on Instagram? Um, how can we do this on display ad networks? Okay. This is really the steroid part of the game. Okay. And this is where there's a huge, huge opportunity because not very many people take advantage of this and really focus on a little bit of paid advertisement 
to drive your brand for you at a much more rapid pace. Okay. I don't care what anybody says. Your organic reach can only, only touch a small part of the market. For some of you, that may be all you need. But for those of you that are really serious about scaling and growing a team, being willing to put a little ads behind or a little money behind your, some of your content um, will just drive way more juice and create a you know, much faster way to scale and grow your business. Um, so you want to be able to really have a, an up-leveled resource at this point, though. It be go, goes from beyond you know, just kind of that uh, branded content to now more of a direct uh, a direct um, marketing content, right? Direct sales content where, hey, I'm going to give you this lead magnet in exchange for this information type of a thing. So having a lead magnet is going to be critical um, once you go into multi-platform scaling so that you can go to these um, other, other markets with a free offer, okay? And really this shows you how to drive that traffic in a powerful way, build that brand awareness and ultimately be the most top of mind choice, right? Now, one thing in, in the world of content now, there's content everywhere, right? And your competitors are already creating content. If you're not, you're, you're behind. If you are creating content, but you're not seeing a result from it, remember that it's the distribution that is really the king now. Content's not king anymore. It's the way that you get your content to your audience. That's what matters most. There's nothing worse than spending, you know, whatever it takes an hour to write an article and get 10 views on it. I've been there. I, I, I've seen it happen and it's, and it's frustrating, right? But when you know how to do this properly, you know, and you take that effort and now you're getting thousands of eyeballs on it um, and you're impacting people, that's where it really starts to become fun and successful. And when you get this multi-platform scaling right, this is really where it allows you to do a lot for yourself and for your business. This is, you know, where you can 3X, 5X, or even 10X your lead flow and attract even more qualified, you know, clients and candidates. Um, which again, when you're doing this in, in a setup, would, the multi-platform scaling is essentially like having another pl- uh, another employee because it's an automated system that's in place that's prospecting for you 24-7, 365, doesn't complain, doesn't bitch, doesn't moan. Um, it just gets up and does its job every day. And you know this allows you to be stay top of mind and the most relevant choice in the marketplace. And the bottom line is, is you know, it's not about who can do you know recruiting or who can, you know, fill roles in, 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 in make placements and in, in, in complete searches better than others anymore. It's not what it's about. It's about your ability to market that. It's about your ability to share and display to your market how it is that you're better than the next person that's out there. Okay. So that's the overview of the relevant recruiter method. Now, how many of you watching right now would want to add at least six figures to your income in the next 90 days? Um, per desk, you know, if you've got multiple people you're working with, how many of you would like to add an additional six figures of income to your desk in the next 90 days? Because that's exactly what we're seeing in the relevant recruiter method with hundreds of people going through this. Um, I just interviewed Candace Johnston last week. She was in, in her business for six months. Pretty much all of her business since then has come from implementing the relevant recruiter method. Um, you know, for you guys that have watched me for a while, we could talk about Ed Kyle, we could talk about Katie Kelly, we could talk about Chelsea Crows, we could talk about Jen Doskow, um, Reese Keck, the list goes on and on. You can head over to my YouTube channel and see all the results that we're being able to drive here. And one of the biggest things about the relevant recruiter method is that once you understand it, it's actually very easy to implement and do. Does it take work? Absolutely. You know, is it going to be something different than what you're doing? 100%. And if you're really looking to transform your business, then, you know, what I would like to offer you is just to hop on a quick phone call with me. Um, and on the phone call, all we're going to do is we're going to, you know, talk about your business and where you're at now, where you're looking to go. Um, we'll get you clarity on that. I'll talk about the relevant recruiter method. We'll actually see and show you exactly how that method can apply specifically to your business and specifically to your team of, of, of professionals. Um, if you have a team that you're working with and, and, you know, you can take that plan that we lay out and run with it. Now, if we feel like there's a fit for us to work together in the relevant recruiter program. Um, and I'm confident that I can help you get results. We'll talk about that. Um, you know, but this call alone can change your life. Um, and I say that very confidently. One of the greatest assets of the program is, and I'm going to toot my own horn here, is my ability to coach, my ability to hold you to the fire, my ability to, to not buy, let you buy into your excuses and your bullshit and help you transform and up-level your business. And to be honest, I like to work with leaders. I like to work with people that view themselves as the eagle in the market. Um, I like to want somebody that wants to soar above the competition. Does that mean you didn't know it all right now? Does it mean you didn't need to have all that mindset dialed in right now? No, but that's why you work with a coach. 
And if you haven't worked with a coach before and you really want to grow your business, working with a coach can catapult you so much faster, can put you through a time machine because they have an outside view of your business. They can see other things that you don't see and they can also push you in ways that you're not currently pushing yourself, especially if you're the leader up top right now and you don't have anybody else to kind of run with you and hold you accountable. It's easy to kind of stay stuck in our ways and not see it all. So if you are looking for that, drop, drop coach in the comments below and I'll reach out to you and we'll see exactly how the relevant recruiter method can work for your business. And if there's a fit, we'll talk about the actual program itself. But, you know, that's basically how this whole thing works. Um, and if you got some value out of this training, either way, give it a little love, give it a little like, um, leave any feedback that you have. But, you know, definitely take the time, drop a comment for coach. I'm also going to drop my link if you don't want to drop a comment of donnygupton.com slash book a call. And, you know, you can grab a time on my calendar that works well for you. And we'll just talk right through this. But don't wait to take action. Your moment is right now. If this is something, if there's even a thought in your mind about this, step in, take action. Even if it's just getting on the phone call, that can be your first step to you transforming and changing the way your, your, your life is and your business is. But what we're doing in the Relevant Recruiter uh, program isn't just about lead generation. It's about how you show up. It's about you becoming a leader. It's about you stepping into your power. And we are literally changing people's lives. So thank you guys for hanging with me today. Drop coach in the comments below or go ahead and hammer that link, donnygupton.com slash book a call. Book your call right now. Don't wait. Now's your moment. And we will see you next week on another live training. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon.